I used to wonder if we all have 24 hours in a day, why do some people make millions of dollars per year, per month, or even sometimes per week, and yet others who might have been brought up from a good family with money end up being broke and making minimum wage. I went down a rabbit hole of productivity and read hundreds of books, studied the subject from blog articles and videos. I've also been journaling now for over a decade, reflecting, asking myself good questions. And I'm going to give you everything that I have found from this journey. Imagine getting more done in four hours than most people get done in multiple days. How big of an advantage would you have over everyone else? Maybe you have a job. Maybe you go to school. Maybe you're just occupied and you only have a couple hours to put in to achieve your dreams. I'm going to show you how you can maximize that time and not waste anything. Elon Musk himself, regardless of how you feel about him, schedules and plans his days in five minute increments. Now this is extreme and you don't have to do this, but it shows you the power that some of these high level executives are operating at. I've tried both. I had a very structured life where I had a nice office, desk setup, and I've also had a crazy life to where I'm traveling to different countries every week, every two weeks, and lived the digital nomad life. And I'm gonna show you how I made both work. Some days you might wake up and you just don't wanna to be productive. You just don't want to get stuff done. And that's okay. Sometimes you just have to push through it and ignore your feelings. But at the end of the day, you're making progress if every single month you have more productive days than the previous month, meaning you have a personal record, you have a personal best. And as long as you keep trying to improve that and you keep trying to beat that as if you're in the gym, constantly adding a little bit of weight so you keep getting stronger and stronger, then you're going to be in the green. You're going to be improving. Using a daily planner has a lot of benefits, but before you even use one, you need to know whether you want to use a physical one or a digital one. I've tried both. When I had a solid office and I wasn't traveling full time, I had a planner that was written down and there's a lot of power of writing your words down on paper and having them exist in the world of checking things off and the feeling you get from achieving things. But ultimately, maybe it's just not practical for you or maybe you're just a tech person and you enjoy having everything online. The strategies I'm going to share with you are going to be good for both. Imagine if you woke up in the morning and you had a list of stuff that you had to get done that day. How much more productive would you be if you knew exactly what you had to do to achieve those dreams? Peter Drucker said, what gets measured gets managed, meaning you have to measure your time. You have to see where your time is going and you have to plan it. So at the end of each day, what you want to do is plan your next day. And I like to plan it in one hour increments. What you could do is go even further, plan it in 30 minute increments. And what I do is I have two time blocks every single day before noon. So at the time that you wake up, plan your morning time blocks. For me, this is when I'm most productive. And a lot of people find that to be true as well. So I encourage you to try that. Put your most important task and plan it in the very morning. If your business doesn't involve calling or it doesn't involve talking to people, then keep your phone on airplane mode and just sit there, plan and work before noon. In a perfect world, you get your most important stuff done before it's even lunchtime yet. For me, when I was growing my business and it did revolve around phone calls and calling people and talking to potential clients, I did all of that before noon. In fact, I had a job. So I would wake up early, an hour, two hours early, and I would start calling people before work. And then what you can do is afternoon, after you eat lunch, or maybe it's after work, you can do the other tasks, the stuff that randomly comes up in your day, right? The random email you have to check, the random conversation, the follow-up, the this and that, whatever it is, for your business. Now, when you're doing this kind of routine and when you plan stuff, it doesn't have to be static for the rest of your life. Don't think about this as what's the perfect routine. Just think of something, write it down and just start doing it and just start experimenting with different things. That's what I encourage you to do. If you like going to the gym, for example, I've tested going to the gym right after lunch and then just working late. But then I also used to go to the gym after work and it's different for every person. See what's best for you. I can give you a blanket answer, but, but it might not work for you because we're two different people. What I also suggest that you do with your daily planner is to plan out your learning. So ask yourself, what do I need to learn to get to the next level in my life, in my business, in my freelancing career? And then just stick to that. So if you are studying sales and how to get clients, then for a week, 
Study one specific thing and watch every video you can on that subject. Maybe you don't know how to get business owners in front of you to pitch them your services. So study all the prospecting books that you can get your hands on. Now, of course, it's going to take more than a week, but take one and read it for an hour every single day. And then go on YouTube, watch live cold calling videos, watch live sales call videos, watch live conversations with clients. I have these on my channel. You can go check out other people's and study sales if that's your main thing. Or if you have other subjects in your life that you want to study, give it a learning theme and just focus on that all week. And by adding these constraints to your learning or to your tasks and getting stuff done, you're actually able to achieve more in less time. If you want to copy and paste my exact digital planner, then you can check out this video right here where I have it linked up.